people think about chess very very differently but it also shows why Kramnik is not a very good blitz player when it comes to 3-0 or without increment and why his whole whole approach here is completely wrong this is not monitor this is nothing to do with the monitor monitor is here it's on the other direction excuse me i'm sorry but what the fuck like danya is one of the world's best players in three plus zero chess he's a great player in three plus one title tuesday format he's like 2700 level over the board and also nepomnichi chimed in Jan nepomnichi he he chimed in nepo says about many people he said about many many people you know he was one of the first not one of the first but um he, he was one, one of those people who like couldn't stop yapping out other people and then find out that he goes and like he, he says these things to me in person and he goes behind my back and he accuses me of cheating too it's just like really really bad and, and i mean i think it's amazing that like fide knows about this and there, there's no sanctioning for this like he said it about me he said it about kukash he said it about hans obviously saw him raising raising and he broke 2700 now he's 2707 I uh, was kind of wondering because I didn't see him playing. I mean, I didn't see him play in any major tournament. I think he never yet played World Championship. Here is Daniel Naraditsky. So this is his FIDE OTB uh, card. So uh, yeah, with all his play ratings. Okay, so he's 2619 uh, classical rating. Rapid, he almost doesn't play for long time already. And 2707 blitz which is like top 25 in the world uh, what about classical this is a classical rating yeah here here it's classical so he plays very little nine games one game just trying to find those games i just couldn't find uh, no games on database which is very rare for a player players of such caliber who are 27 plus that you cannot find uh, most of the games actually only five I think games you could find uh, very few in last couple of years which they played in some other event but I mean other most of these games and let's say Dania he played almost 100 during last year you see here I mean you just cannot find neither on internet uh, in any online database well, what can I say? This first argument that uh, well Dani is so good he's 27 plus uh, well, I'm sorry, this is a fake 2700. Yeah, let's wait for him to play any serious player, OTB, in the control conditions, and then we see what is his real level. Sometimes I watch Dania, he seems to be quite a likable person. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? Yeah, I have nothing against him, but, uh, well, it does, it's not personal, it's just the rule is, must be that, uh, especially of the most famous players or commentators, content, content creators, uh, let's use this language. Uh, well, they have to be checked even more carefully than others, but probably you should not allow uh, any, any professional top player just playing solely against, you know, like 700, 800 LO point uh, lower players and gain gain a lot of rating just doing that here yeah he sinks so i don't know pretends to sink i don't know yeah rook d7 that was my plan and now you see fantastic queen h4 check i mean it's really i mean, i was just so i thought first it was a mouse sleep or something but then i realized it's a very strong tactics yeah and then knight f4, knight d3, and then knight takes c5 after I play king g3, and after knight, yeah, knight c5, knight c5 attacking the rook. I mean, amazing tactics to see in just in two, three seconds, and everything works, and I'm lost. Then he's let's very go! Happy. Yeah, he's very All right. happy. So now let's see. Now oh, let's this feels see. good. Yeah, now he starts to, to look at the chat, yeah? Yeah, that's freaking understand. right. Yeah, and he misses talking. I can't play with increment. I don't quite understand. He's talking on the left and on the right, like there and there. So he has chat in two places or what? I, I don't quite understand this. So now he now he's checking the game and Mr. Okay. and Mrs. I can't play with increment are silent for once. Yeah, so no no you can. This okay. game is fantastic. That's yes. when the last one we're at he's least looking trying. there, looking there. I don't understand where is the chat. That where was a nice one. Yeah, it was a nice one. Yeah, now he's now he starts to analyze the game, and it's pretty clear that engine. Yeah, Queen is H4 here. is I really mean, beautiful. Yeah, it is. This beautiful. is just a sexy move. It's also a good question. Where where is? I mean, monitor. He's looking down, then he's looking there, and then he's looking there, and the chat is there. So, 
it was it just confusing i mean like see now now will be quite interesting moment i would now make it uh, uh slow speed and you will see something a bit like which i didn't i mean i i, I would like explanation is looking there very long look like I don't know, very, I mean, it's clear, it's clear, you know, it's not like when you just, you know, seeing, calculate, it's different, yeah, the look is intense, like, is really, you are really watching, you are looking at something, yeah, and then, for quite a while, and then he turns his head, and then he changes the move, and he plays the best move very quickly, he plays the best move, queen a4, which is practically winning, yeah, which is simply winning, and everything else was like knight b5 was still keeping some advantage, but no more. Wait, it looks like I might be winning here if I'm careful. I have knight b5 as a candidate move. Let's not well, take too it's long. Obviously the best one. Calculate c4. Yeah, it's calculating c4, but knight b5 is just resigned after knight b5. Yeah, no, b4 doesn't work. Okay. Um, it's pretty knight obvious. Five, then. Again, again, you see some short glances all the time. Uh, somewhere and now this is this is really funny when I was because it's obvious white is completely winning c4 is threatening and uh, well basically there is no moves it's just time to resign I can he plays queen e7 it doesn't matter computer already gives up a piece like developing bishop c4 castles just gives up the piece and plus three or something only plus three because after move knight a5 knight a7 yeah knight a5 knight a5 knight xc7 not so difficult to see now they cut a bit because he's hey, sitting i'm trying waiting. to find a move against queen e7 yeah that is funny queen e7 was played actually yeah i have some promising lines there but i don't see it. yeah that is funny promising lines i mean after queen e7 let's say first of all i can assure you even without any engine it's very obvious white is completely winning i mean I can tell you how much winning is it after queen e7 first 10 lines are more than plus four for white first 10 including after queen e7 moves h3 and h4 uh, are also plus four first He's using five, a blood clock here i don't see a move for him first five lines plus five just to just to explain you how winning is this position yeah before as well i mean like any move Let's see i mean before is a little bit yeah, yeah, I wouldn't play before, I agree. Queen d1. What if I go like that? This no, is all shit. Then he's gonna knight. Ah, he's... then I bishop c4. But I mean, he's taking so much time. He's top 5 player, clearly. Yeah? I mean, in uh, in bleeds and according to previous game, why he's taking so much time? I mean, uh, for what? It's like any move wins. And he's getting very nervous also, as if it's very complicated position. He has one minute against nine seconds completely winning position with any move and he starts to get nervous i don't know if he's nervous or ah, pretends to where be is nervous. it i mean it's very simple yeah the position so he wants to blunder now no knight d6 oh my check gosh. king g8 oh my gosh but what what else i mean queen takes d6 rook takes e5 immediately resigned so i mean what now by the way the funny thing is that any any actually square where queen goes i mean not like yeah uh, not completely crazy like g4 is winning queen b5 queen b3 queen f1 queen e2 queen e4 all moves are completely winning only queen d4 is plus one only plus one after queen d4 every other move is plus five or something and now you see i mean again danny gets extremely nervous here i mean it's I just like I he wants to nice. play queen d4 is the only move which is which is not winning on this spot. The freaking win? I mean, I can assure you, I'm a chess player. This is so simple. This this thing is so incredibly simple. This position to to win. I mean, like you know, if you are such a brilliant player, like you you finish it in a second. Where's the freaking win? Before. Okay. Where is the win? Any move is a win. Queen e4 is the most obvious, just resigned on the spot. Very can... obvious. Okay, why can I can play No shit. What do I do here? Getting nervous to 20 seconds. Okay, I don't know if it's fine. spectacle. Is it a spectacle or what? Because it's like, you know, again, 
<laughs> any you know 2000 level player would just find 2200 okay would find queen e4 but in fact because rook is hanging also queen e2 queen f1 every move is winning but queen f4 of course obviously finishes it on the spot cannot f i mean just calculate a single variation but he was just few minutes ago capable of doing it uh, with a Precision finding Queen H4 check, such an incredible tactics like Queen H4 check, a really difficult one. And now, yeah, he, yeah finally, with 15 seconds, he finds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rook 7, no, Queen D5. Rook there we go. By the way, first I line, did. Queen D5 check, second line. Queen D5, of course, is more logical. It's uh, winning. Okay. So, yeah. Now, panic. I just sat there until I found the win. Yeah, he's very happy about this game, that he didn't panic, there was no reason to panic. Dani is looking up uh, 40 times, around 40 times. It's really a lot. And again, it's not the monitor. I mean, le you, you see, okay. It's like permanent. Yeah, again up. But the monitor is there. You will see later where is the monitor. I mean, here you cannot even understand. Yeah, there is a monitor. So again, what are these glances up? Again, it's too high. It's really too high for clock. Why all of a sudden uh, Dania, he likes his position. What happened? Just one move ago, he didn't like it. For some reason, also without any explanation. Now he likes it. Now, yeah, uh, here you can see. So now he's concentrating. Here you see where is the monitor, yeah? You see me, I'm, I'm looking at it. Okay, this is, the, this is more or less where is the board. And the clock is here. So it's, yeah, it's pretty clear that it's somewhere there. So when you are looking up, you're looking there. It's much, you know, above the monitor, obviously. Yeah, chat, uh, well, I mean, first of all, why do you have two chats? Because one is clearly here and in between of games, he's talking to a chat. Secondly, why do you at all look at chat? But okay, that's another story. And the third is, uh, thing is why you are doing it uh, so often. Yeah, I mean, like, because he's not speaking with chat. I mean, you're playing a very strong player, a very strong player, very important game. He's very nervous, by the way. You can see he's extremely nervous during this game. And then you are reading chat. I mean, what is this? It's a bit strange. I mean, uh, even without looking at any engine, it's pretty clear you just crash with taking on h3, knight h3, bishop h3, it's over. It's just attack is, is there is a mating attack. It is very obvious. A again, uh, please, I mean, trust me, I'm a chess player. It's very obvious. Yeah. So again, here you can see very clear where, where is the monitor. It's there somewhere. Yeah. It's somewhere there and looking somewhere here, it cannot be a monitor again. I can repeat, but I take on h3, I can, I can do it, he says, because there is queen f1. What queen f1? Anything wins after queen f1. Obviously, knight h5, bishop takes g2. I don't even know what is this queen f1. It's, it's clearly completely lost. I mean, in general, there is nothing much to calculate after bishop h3. It's obvious the game is over. My mods can attest to the fact that I never had any chatters uh, suggesting moves. And I usually had chat open at that point if like I wasn't playing for first place. Sometimes I would minimize the chat and keep OBS up. Sometimes I would minimize both and just have my desktop up. But when I would have chat up, as you guys know, I look at it pretty frequently. So if I'm doing this, I'm looking at the chat on my monitor on the left, looking back at the laptop. If I'm looking to this side, I look out the window. If I'm visualizing something, sometimes I do this and I'm looking at literally at the floor trying to visualize something. Or I'll go like this to adjust the lamp settings. Um, thank you. I really appreciate that, Yasser. Yeah, I will be honest. It feels like it feels like I'm in the Salem witch trials, and it's your your um, endorsement matters matters a lot. Thank you. It's an it's an honor. One thing that people don't understand about three O Blitz versus three plus one, um, when 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 you talk about three plus one versus three zero, is like. Something that Nepo and, and all these other people can't understand fundamentally is that in 3-0, if Danny gets to an end game where they're 20 seconds on the clock and the piece are on the board, he is just going to win. And when you have that in your mind of how you can win with 20 seconds on the clock with zero increment, the way you play is very different than the way you would think in a classical game. Very specifically, if you know that you're going to win 90% of the time, let's just say you put it 90% of you can piece pieces on, you're not going to you're not going to use a lot of time and trade off pieces. You're not going to think a lot in critical situations. 
Like, it's not going to happen. I saw some game that, that Daniel played against Wesley, and he's like, Cram saying, oh, you should calculate three different moves. Like, it's a position where if you have minute 35 seconds, your opponent's a minute 15, you spend 30 seconds calculating all the sequences, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out because if you play, if, if you calculate and you're wrong, then you're going to have lost time and you're just going to lose. You're going to get flagged no matter what. And they're, they're treating it like it's like it's rapid or it's classical chess in terms of the way they think about it. And um, that's the that's the biggest problem with the whole thing. But in three zero, you cannot spend that time. You cannot spend 30 to 40 seconds in a critical position because if you're wrong, you're just going to lose the game. So you play the simpler move and you don't do it. No, I mean, Bishop C8 is not my top move. I will I will say that too. Bishop C8 is not my top move. The, the two moves that make the most sense to me in that position are H6 or Knight to F6. Those are the two moves. Now, the funny thing is, is that I would play Knight F6 there. And then you hear Kranik say, oh, but you know, H6, H6, anybody and their brother would play. Like Knight F6 is the move that, um, is, is the move that I would play, not, not H6. So uh, it's pretty, it's pretty funny actually um, to, to, to see that. It's, it's like everybody would play H6. And then, of course the moves that I would play, and I'm, I'm basically the second best player, I would play Knight F6. So it's pretty funny. Um, but it was, but yeah, that's, that's the problem with the whole, whole thing is that it's just such, it's just sad to see it. Um, yeah. Yeah. How, how come the record of Daniel versus me and the record versus Fabian is different? Oh, it's very, very obvious because I'm a very fast player and there's a psychological grip that I have on Daniel because I, because I beat him so many times over the years and Fabiano does not have the, the mental grip because Daniel knows that Fabiano is not as good at blitz. And additionally, he knows Fabiano is not as fast with the mouse. So of course he's going to play better. I mean, that's a very simple answer for why he's going to play better. Because it's blitz. It's not classical chess. I mean, <laughs> that's like the most basic explanation. Like, legitimately the most basic explanation. It's like, oh, yeah, let's forget about the psychology. Let's forget about all these things. Like, it's the same thing. Like, what, you know, why, why does Cranwick have a bad, re bad record against me? You know, he's, he's objectively a better player if you look at history. He, he, he's, he's one of the greatest players of all time. He's a world champion. But his classical record against me is horrible. He's, he's, he's a losing player against me. And why is that? I mean, objectively, he probably, he probably can play at a higher level, but he has a losing record. And it's because there are a lot of other things that come into play besides simply pure strength.